Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new episode of the FinTech Hunting Podcast. We have a very special guest for you today. He's an industry thought leader. He's a technology evangelist, and he's a property and data expert. Please help me welcome to the show Richard Lombardi, EVP, Property Data Solutions and Data Strategy at Ice Mortgage Technology. Richard, welcome to the show. Thank you, Michael. And I, I can see we're both wearing our green we today. We are wearing our green. We'll <laughs> tell everyone happy St. Patrick's Day. This will roll out this week. So happy St. Patrick's to, to you and all of our listeners. And before we get started, I just want to, to mention it was great meeting you in person at Ice Experience last week. I, I greatly appreciate you stopping and saying hello um, before we recorded this. So that was fantastic to see you. Yeah, yeah, it was a, a great show. Uh, thanks to all the attendees that, that showed up. The participation was fantastic. Uh, your presentation was great as well. Uh, and, uh, you know, really enjoyed the show and, and got a lot of sleep this weekend to recover. <laughs> exactly. I'm with you there. I was catching up on a lot of sleep. So we're now back from ICE. Let's talk about and dive into, you know, your specialty of let's talk about the power of data and how it's now driving the entire mortgage workflow from pre-app to post-closing and beyond. Give me kind of walk me through that process. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, Michael, I mean, data has always been a big part of of the mortgage workflow and, and anything related to real estate and mortgage to tell you the truth. Right. right? Um, and, uh, uh, you know, ICE has done a great job uh, with the acquisition of Black Knight to really focus on integration of the, all those data assets that Black Knight was collecting, coupled with all those data assets that ICE already had, and they've brought those together uh, into the Encompass workflow and the MSP servicing workflows, uh, as well as some plat data platforms that, that uh, came along with the Black Knight acquisition as well, the SiteX platform and, and our rapid analytics platform, and incorporating that data in and integrating that data in to just make things easier and faster and, and more efficient and effective for our clients as we move forward. Well, and I think bringing data to life and making it usable is critical. As you've mentioned, we've both been in the industry a long time. Data has always been around, but a lot of times companies couldn't access it. And I love what you guys are doing with the integration of saying, let's make this data more usable for everyone. So you guys have some exciting things happening. Talk to me a little bit about, give me some examples. Let, let's, Let's jump into fee solutions and and yep. what's going yep. on there. Yeah, so some of the first integrations that we worked on right away um, uh, with bringing that property data, that, that parcel level property data into the ICE workflow experience is we, we, we went right at some of the um, uh, products and services that our clients are using on the Encompass platform. So um, our fee solutions, formerly known as Ernst, now we call it the ICE fee solutions, uh, uh, we incorporated that into the Encompass workflow. Uh, fee, the Ernst fee solution was never part of the Encompass platform, so we brought that in, uh, added additional property data to those products and services, uh, our tax uh tax reports, our TLE and TCD, tax for loan estimate and tax for closing reports, were built into that flow as well. And so we can deliver our clients a, a, a precise, a better uh, fee solution uh, for their estimations as they go forward. Uh, in addition to that, we also brought in uh, our flood uh, reports. Uh, we created the ICE Enhanced Flood Report, which includes flood reports, traditional flood reports, as well as property data, all brought into the Encompass workflow. So that's been a very exciting thing for our clients who have been uh, converting over to that as quickly as possible. And we also brought in our valuation tools, our AVM models as well. So all those were immediately incorporated into the Encompass workflow. So we could uh, uh, sort of hit the ground running, if you will, yep. Michael, with, um, with those products, uh, giving our customers access within the Encompass workflow to those products. And um, it's been going like gangbusters. So let's talk about what does it do? How does it benefit the lender, the user of Encompass, who now has access to these data points? 
Does it allow them to be more proactive instead of reacting? Walk me through a little bit of the, kind of the value sure. that the lenders are seeing from these incredible integrations. Sure. What, it, what, what those integrations have allowed us to do, Michael, is then expand upon traditionally what the clients would be receiving. So, yes, you know, the ICE fee solution that we provide highly accurate information. We spend a lot of time and effort on collecting and updating those fees, but then we've built in some tools that are encompass specific for our clients that allow them to monitor uh, uh, what we call fee monitor, it allows them to monitor through the life of the loan process here or through the life cycle of the origination process to see if something changes midstream, right? So they're not caught off guard. They're not being stuck with fees uh, or penalties because they didn't know something changed. So the fee monitor process, uh, we, sometimes we call also lights out, allowing information to be pulled in directly into the, the processing, ASO lights out, as well as the monitoring process allows our users uh, you know, comfort in, in getting information and changes right away and not being stuck with penalties at the end of the loan cycle. And then carrying that through into the servicing platform is important. So you're not, uh, you know, you're not, you're not going through with having to fix things. Uh, our fees dashboard, which uh, we announced at the show um, to be released here very shortly, will also give any fee user, whether they're using our fee product or someone else's, the ability to monitor where those issues are coming from on a portfolio basis and, and really fix them as they go forward. So with monitor and dashboard built into these uh, tools, it gives just a, a step ahead for, for the lenders to not worry about things that they've had to worry about in the past. Well, and, and you start mitigating and minimizing those gotchas at the end of the process that lead to a, a poor lender experience, that lead to a poor borrower experience. If you can identify these areas early on, understand what those changes are, it should have a significant impact on the whole experience for the lender and the borrower. I love where you guys are going with all of this. Yeah, and, and significant is the right word, Michael, because uh, at the ICE experience, we did a presentation on, on our fees solutions, uh, and, and we talked about a white paper we put out. We're happy to share that with anybody that's interested. You could find it on the ICE, ICE web pages, um, which show that uh, we did a study, in, 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 uh, I think in 2023, over uh, the the fee issues and trade violations that occurred on average about twelve hundred dollars per wow. violation um, and and with and we were finding uh, many loans that were falling into this in effect you know it could save lenders millions of dollars uh, if they stay on top of this problem and um, the white paper is a great example of of the benefits or the significance that you talk about of, of utilizing and getting the benefit from, from just the fees product. Well, I, I love how you guys, when you do it, you give case studies, you give proof. It's not just hype. It's not just theory. You're actually demonstrating the penalties that they can avoid, the money savings that they can incur if they start embracing these new tools and it's allowing them to be much more proactive when you can start monitoring and understanding the challenges that are coming up ahead of time and can proactively do something about it, it really puts the lender in a much better position. And I, I love what ICE is doing to do that and empower the lender to make that happen. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, you know, we'll, we'll continue to do that as we go forward, Michael. Um, I, I did mention one thing that is unique to the uh, fee solutions product as well. We give you a choice of different tax reports to get as well. We have the tax loan estimate, or we have the tax for closing disclosure, which allows you not an estimated number, but an actual number. So all of these have been built into that workflow that you talked about and that experience. And uh, we think the customers will benefit tremendously from, from all of that. Well, and I think it's that whole ecosystem. I heard that term quite a bit when I was at ICE of mm -hmm. how do you continue to add value to the whole ecosystem? And so as people are looking at their workflow, as they're looking at how the loan moves through the system within their organization and within the industry, you guys are there at the forefront adding these tools and solutions. What's next from a data perspective? What do you see next on the horizon? What can you talk about? What I know there's certain things you can't talk about, but what do you see as sure. next frontier uh, from a data perspective? 
Yeah, Michael, for sure. The the two uh, the two I'm, I'm going to talk about two things because they 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 sort of um, are the next kind of sort of the next up as we move forward. One is within our flood solution. You know, we carry through origination with our flood solution, but we also go into servicing. Right, so flood is a life of loan product, right. and and you want to be able to manage that through the whole life cycle till that thing is paid off at some point in the end. So, um, you know, we have built uh, the ice flood solution into our servicing platform as well. So it's seamless for customers through Encompass into servicing. That's one. And, and our customers are starting to see that now. Uh, the second thing that's coming is really now taking a lot of this data, Michael, and building it within the workflow experience. So uh, what I've heard from many of our clients is, you know, hey, uh, as part of part of processing the loan, I have to go to 10 or 12 different places to get the information I need to do all the research, right? I'm going to county websites. If you know, if we've got people on the the underwriting team going out to county websites, that's not very efficient, right? right? We've done all that work for you, so we are incorporating that data, that property data, public property record data, and property data into different parts of the Encompass workflow experience. So you don't have to go out and do all that research. It's right Right there for you at your fingertips through our SiteX reports and and other property data that we're incorporating in and we're working with our clients to identify where exactly they want that data in the process so we can make sure it's there for them as they as they work through the different parts of the encompass workflow well and what I continue to hear is you're eliminating friction in the process so it is a better experience for the lender and ultimately the borrower benefits from less hassles, less going back and forth, less gotchas at the end and a very streamlined approach. Richard, you're a wealth of knowledge and expertise. Anything else from a data or a data strategy perspective you want to share as we start winding down this episode of the FinTech Hunting Podcast? Um, you know, Michael, no, I, I just think, you know, for our clients, it's all about how we can save money for the uh, for the consumer on the lending side how we can make things more efficient make make the loan process cheaper for our clients and for the uh, consumers as well and so any feedback that we can get we're very happy to 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 receive and and work on uh, we're always looking for that user feedback and spent a lot of time at the ice experience talking to customers and learning what they really want to see and what they need and that's been beneficial i don't want that to stop so if your listeners can can come back to us uh, please share as much information as you can oh, fantastic you guys are always looking to improve and to add value to your customers richard i can't thank you enough for being a guest on this episode of the fintech hunting podcast thank you michael